gotta go now, gotta go Swerving in my whip, can't slow down Driving fast with cars, boy, I'm on the road now Automatic star, my vid take a call now. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the Rose Session Central I am the Nigerian Nemesis and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a very strong Hog Bowler deck that has perfect synergy guys check this deck out You've got the Hog Rider here as your main kill card Get all of your damage down with the Hog Rider You've got the Bowler as one of the best counter attacking cards in the game Of course it can't hit the air but if you're playing other Hog Rider decks Other P.E.K.K.A, Giant decks the Bowler does such a great job at keeping those support cards at bay You've got the Ice Golem as one of the best defensive distraction cards in the game and it synergizes really well with the Hog Rider, so you can use that as one of your pushes. You've got the E-Wiz, which is arguably one of the best defensive cards in the game as well. And then you have the Mini P.E.K.K.A, which does a lot of damage to the tanks, to Hog Riders, Giants, Golems. And then the two spells that I chose for this deck are the Fireball and the Zap. Just to help us out against those three Musketeer decks and to help us be aggressive against Elixir Collectors. But before we do hop into some gameplay, I do want to start out with the question of the day. This one coming from Supremacy Climax and he asked me, who is my favorite player in the NBA? And for me, my favorite player right now is still Isaiah Thomas. It's unfortunate that he had to be traded off from the Celtics and to the Cavaliers, but he is still my favorite player of all time. So in the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know who your favorite player is and we can talk about that. But here we go into the first battle up against Epic Teacher. From NFL fans, we're going to split bats. No, we're not. We're going to go bats on the left-hand side and probably go with a Hog Rider push. So let's get that down right here. Get our zap ready. He's going to go with the bats. So we can probably zap the bats and something else. He's going to zap, so we're going to zap as well. Oh, boy. We're going to go here and bowler. That's going to be a perfect defense, guys. The bowler does a great job against the Elite Barbarians. He doesn't really fail. Hopefully, he goes to the left. I don't think so. We're going to get bats down for those skeletons now. Quickly take down these skeletons. The Ice Wizards got a little bit of damage off, but I am not too upset about that. Look at the left tower. Look at how much damage we were able to do to that tower. It is all the way down to 886. And even with the Inferno Dragon, guys, we have the Electro Wizard. Like I said, one of the best cards in the game. So the E-Wiz does a great job at countering the Inferno Dragon. He's going to go that route with the Ice Wizard. We could go for... We could go for the mini P.E.K.K.A here, but I don't think it's worth it. Instead, let's save our Elixir. The e was in the Crown Tower will take him out, and then we're going to go with a Hog Rider push. Since our e was is still at 1 HP, we've got the Zap ready for his bat. I forgot about the Elite Barbarians. Entirely forgot about them. So we're going to go Ice Golem on the right. And Bowler in front of the tower. That's going to keep the Elite Barbarians at bay and probably even get some damage off onto the tower after it goes in for a counterattack. He's going to zap that down as well. I'll definitely take that. We can go with the bats for his bats, which I think he's going to play on this side. He's going to go with an Inferno Dragon. Uh, let's go with bats on the right. He already used his zap. And force him to play. He's going to arrow it down. Fair play, fair play. So we'll go with Electro Wizard now right here. We could have played that on top of everything, but I missed out on that opportunity. So instead, we'll go this route. And let's get down another Hog Rider. There is no way he is back to those Elite Barbs. And even if he is, he doesn't have enough Elixir for it. So he has the Ice Wizard on that tower. Hog Rider is going to get one shot off, just one more shot, and that's going to be the end of tower number one. Here he comes with the Skeletons now. We will go Ice Golem for the Skeletons. That'll take them down. We've got our Bowler ready, so let's go Bowler on this side. Quickly take out the Elite Barbarians. We'll go with Bats over the top since he did just zap there. And then let's go Mini P.E.K.K.A here. And I kind of want to use Hog Rider, but there's no need for me to be overly aggressive. So instead, I'm going to Fireball here. Oh, we barely, barely missed the uh, Ice Wizard. So we'll go E-Wiz now. And get ready for that Elite Barbarian push to come in. I think he's going to bring it on the left. Even if he does, we've got that locked down. He's going to go that route. Let's go Bats. And we'll go with a Hog Rider now. Expect the Elite Barbarian. So we're going to pre-Fireball here, boys. Oh, he's not going to play the e barb he He's actually going to give up. Mini Pekka going down in the center of the map. Now let's get down our Ice Golem. Get down the Bats and zap the tower as well. Try and get a three crown for our crown chest. Whether or not that's up, we will take a three crown victory. Just like that with, with this amazing Hog Rider deck that I highly recommend you guys try out. Let me look at it one more time. I don't think it's too legendary heavy. Yeah, we only have the Electro Wizard in here, which isn't too bad. You can always substitute that out for the Musketeer if you don't have him. So let's hop right into the second battle and continue to throw down these verse sessions. Let's see who we're up against. We are up against Remyes from Die Taffer Lunday. We've got the Hog Rider in our starting hand. We've got the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the E-Wiz, both great defensive cards. Let's see here. We'll probably go with a Naked Hog Rider. 
Uh, he's gonna go collector. So naked hog rider. Let's go. Uh, I want to go bass, but we don't have our fireball. He's got the mini Pekka. Bats will quickly take care of the mini Pekka and force him to play something else if he doesn't want that push to just die there. Yeah, well played. Ah, uh, we gotta go Ewis. We'll go Ewis here. The Ewis. Oh, that was terrible. The Ewis went down there in one shot. So not the best play in the world. The reason why I didn't have my fireball in the starting hand is probably gonna cost us a little bit towards the end of this game. We'll see. We're gonna zap this here. Not the best play, but I'm trying to get him to bring out those three musketeers or whatever he has. Let's go ice golem. Oh, dang it, guys. I'm fireballing the king tower. This could prove to be fatal. Fireball is going to take out the collective, but we managed to hit the king tower at the same time. We're going for that play, though. We're being aggressive here. I think he has a golem deck. Almost 100% sure at this point. Since he has a baby dragon, it could be three musketeers, but three musketeers usually doesn't synergize well with the baby dragon. So we're going to go Ewiz. And Bowler. So that's going to be a perfect stop here. Bowler is going to push back those goblins and do a little bit of damage to the mini P.E.K.K.A. Keeping him at bay. We've got the Hog Rider for the counter push. So let's just go for it. Let's get the Hog Rider down. Let's get our Zap prepared as well. And see what his answer is. Does he have anything? He's got the Collector. We're going to Fireball that again. Just to keep it all back. Ewis is still going to be alive. We're going to do so much damage to that tower. And boom, it was actually worth it. We took down both of those Collectors. And now we are even further in the lead. Taking down the third Collector of the game. Things are looking very good for us. I'm waiting for that Golem to come out of his hand though. I know he has Golem. He has to have it. Baby Dragon will not get any shots off onto our tower there. So we're going to go Bats. And hopefully our Hog Rider is next. There it is. So we're going to go here on the Ice Golem. And we'll go Slow Bowler. And then Hog Rider on the left. Force him to play some defense on the other side. If he brings out the Goblins, we can zap them. I believe they'll die to the Ice Golem. At least almost died of the Ice Golem. Let's go here with the Mini Pekka. And on this side, we'll go Bats. He will not zap in time, guys. Ice Golem is going to distract for us. He'll get a couple of shots off on that left tower, though. So that was well played. We'll go Ewis. And hopefully slow all that down. He's going to go that route. So what we're going to do here is continue going on the right side. Hopefully get this tower down. So he's going all in. We're going to go here. Mini Pekka. Let's get our Bats down as well. He definitely has that tower down. So we've got the Ewis doing some work for us. We're going to play the Ice Golem to distract. He took the tower there on the left hand side. Bowler is doing work. Let's zap this tower down. Double Bowler on that tower, guys. That's going to be the second tower of the game. So very aggressive playing there. And it paid off for us just barely in the end there. He played really well. He got his mini P.E.K.K.A. on our left tower. But at the end of the game, we were the better player. So let's hop into the third and final battle with this unbelievable deck. And see if we can have this clean slate. Or do we run into a direct counter with the Lava Hound deck, guys? Because that is one of the trickiest decks to play with this one we do have the ewiz and the bats but of course they could always bring in a miner for our ewiz or fireball or lightning it down so it's not always the greatest thing let's split bats right here and get our hog rider prepared he's got furnace we're just gonna go with a hog rider up the center take care of the furnace here Ooh, pekka so we did a little bit of damage to his furnace let's go with a ewiz and we'll go we can go bowler or mini pekka mini oh he's got a nice poison too I think Mini P.E.K.K.A. will do better for us. So we'll go with Mini P.E.K.K.A. And distract with the Ice Golem. And we should be able to take down this P.E.K.K.A. without any trouble here. Mini P.E.K.K.A. doing work. Oh, barely taking him out. He's going to bring in the Hog Rider for us. So thank you very much for that play. And then we're going to get in another Hog Rider right here on the right side. He doesn't have the P.E.K.K.A. But he does have the Furnace. Nope, Furnace is not up in time. Let's zap all this here. Oh, good log. But we have the Bats now on that tower doing work. Hog Rider is still alive. Bats doing a lot of damage to that tower, guys. That tower is almost within fireball range. So once again, things looking very good for us. He's going to hit us with a well played. And all we have to do is defend against that heavy P.E.K.K.A., which shouldn't be too hard. We've got the Ewiz. We've got the Bowler to keep the supporting cards at bay. So if he brings in that Furnace, we can probably fireball it down. So let's fireball it right here. And boom. Tower is down to 109. The Furnace is going down slower, little by little. And he's going to go Bandit. So we'll go Ice Golem. We'll go Bats. And we might have to go Mini P.E.K.K.A. here. Yeah, we're going Mini P.E.K.K.A. Don't want that bandit getting a connection off onto the tower. And I'm not going to go aggressive here and send in a Hog Rider because I don't want to have to deal with a counter-attacking P.E.K.K.A. So if he drops off P.E.K.K.A. for us, so we'll go left-hand side just to sort of split up the damage here for him. So we're going to go uh, Hog Rider here. And he's going to be forced to play that P.E.K.K.A. So let's see it. He'll go Furnace. I'm okay with that. 
definitely okay with that. We're gonna go with a bowler on the right. And then, okay, here he comes with the bandit. We'll go ice golem. And then we'll get our bat split up here. He's probably saving that P.E.K.K.A. for a counter attack instead of going aggressive with it. Let's go with a fireball now on the, on the tower. Take down the E-Wizard. Barely catching him there. That's what I'm talking about. And let's see what his play is. Let's go with a hog rider. There we go. We'll zap down this side. We'll go bowler. We'll go ice golem to distract. And then mini P.E.K.K.A. We'll go bats as well. That should be good for us. The P.E.K.K.A. goes down, but unfortunately, he was able to take down our mini P.E.K.K.A. Our tower is going down little by little, but I don't think he has enough juice to take us all the way out. So we are going to save the Ewis to defend against the tower. So we're going to go Ewis here. And then we'll go Bowler to distract the bats. And perfect, guys. Let's go Ice Golem as well. And that's going to be the end of the game. So 3-0 just like that with this unbelievable Hog Rider deck that I highly suggest you guys give a shot, man. Give this deck a shot. We're doing so much work with it. Let me show you guys the deck one more time so you can create it and get cooking. Here it is for you guys. You have the Hog Rider, Ice Golem, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Bowler, Bats, Fireball, E-Wiz, and the Zap Spell. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!